Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to episode 7 of my free-to-play Two Infernal Cape series. Um, I know it's been uh, a week or two since I've uploaded my last video. For that, I apologize. Just, you know, work, real-life stuff um, has got me busy, so got to find some time to be able to do this. To kick this episode off here, I have done just about, as you can see by the playtime in the bottom, 59 minutes and 37 seconds of rune crafting uh, to get some money after our not failure, but 111 kills or whatever at the crazy ar archaeologist to end off last episode where we got no really good drops. Uh, the bank is looking a little low, so did some some rune crafting about an hour, got me uh, 678k worth of cosmic runes, which I'm going to sell and get myself a cannon so that we can do some Slayer. Um, so today's going to be some Slayer, you know, some more bossing hopefully. Uh, we can get up to it. I would really love to get some wildy bosses going. Um, and let's hop right into it. So I'll see you guys in the next one. As promised, hopping right into the Slayer with this episode with 45 Slayer. Um, so yeah, cool. Moving on. Can't all be perfect. Missed the level, but that was 55 attack and 1100 total level. All right, finished off my rogues task and now we're getting bears. I kind of want to try Callisto, but I don't think it's going to work. Okay, obviously my stats are nowhere good enough to kill Callisto. So I just went ahead and did this bears task out here. Uh, by the Pharaoh's Enclave. This ended up being my 10th task, so I got 125 bonus points, giving me a total of 250 points. And let's see what we can get for our next task. I'm hoping for something good here. Oh, that's terrible. Come on, bro. All right, first Laren's key drop of the episode coming in here. Um, I don't remember exactly how many Laren keys I opened in the last episode or the last couple episodes. We'll see here. Four times, so this was only my fourth one, and we got 121k worth of coal. That's, uh, I mean, obviously not the best drop in the world, but considering some of the terrible drops that I got at this, uh, I think it was two episodes ago now, um, I'll take that one for sure. All right, skip my Black Dragon's task, got a Bear's task. This is probably going to be the point where I stop checking in after every task, just because I could make like four episodes just doing that. Um, Dark Warriors, I'll be back. In the midst of a green dragon task, I got a Larian's key. I think this is my fifth time opening the big chest. What do we get? Gold ore. <laughs> another day, another farm run. That's the saying, I think, right? I, I don't think I'm mistaken in saying that. But 45 farming, which means we can now use maple trees and get into the farming guild. So cool. That's a quick green dragon's task, which is actually probably one of my most profitable tasks considering the keys and the dragon hides and the bones that we get. Um, it's super good. And we got a scorpion's task, so not killing Scorpio. Damn. Seventh Laren's key coming right at you, coming in real hot. Rune plate leg, 75k. That's pretty good compared to some of the drops we've gotten, so I will take that without a doubt. In the midst of a mammoth's task, mammoth's task, I really like this. Good range, good slayer XP, um, and the free prayer potions are nice. But that is 69 range because inside I am a 12-year-old. That was a quick mammoth task. I got like 12k slayer XP, which is great considering I'm only level 48 slayer. Um, and let's see what we've come in, in next. Moss giants. All right, that's good. We're going to get some uh, keys to kill Brio Fito with, hopefully. Fingers crossed. But before we do that, because mammoths are high levels, we got a couple Laren's keys. First, we got 39 uncut rubies, and then the second one, gold ore. Damn, these keys are bad, bro. What the hell? 77k? Jeez. Moss giants done. Uh, 87 bears. Okay. I kind of want to try to kill Callisto. I have 73 range. Um, I don't know how this will work. I want to try, right? So I'm on a Slayer task, so I should be able to get the Slayer bonus. Ooh, wrong interface. Um, if I get a, a Slayer helm imbued and a crossbow gets like an extra 15% in the wildy and that's 7.5 mil. So my bank is currently worth 2 mil. If I can make like 8 mil, get my Slayer helmet and a crossbow, maybe we can kill Callisto? All right, so first part of my making journey, or money-making journey, two Laren's keys, 15 rune ore. That's a good drop, 169k, second key. 140 dragon dark hips, 500k almost. Holy shit, those are two really good drops. Okay, so that begins me on my way, right? So if you couldn't tell from the last clip, I have a, a bear's task. I want to kill Callisto in the deep wilderness. I only have 73 range. I don't think that 73 range is good enough to kill Callisto. But if I can make the money to get a, a black mask 
and then get the Nightmare Zone points to imbue the Black Mask. Um, it's, I believe, 15% bonus damage and accuracy on task, which I would have because it would be a bear's task. And the crossbow is currently 7.5 mil. Um, let's just get confirmation of how much these are in rune light. 586k, that's big. Um, and the crossbow is 7.5 mil, and I believe that gets an additional 15% damage and accuracy in the wilderness. Um, so I don't know if it will be enough to kill Callisto, but I'm going to set about on a journey to make some money. Um, and we'll see once I make some money if I can kill Callisto. So I have one mossy key that I'm going to go kill Bria Fita with, and then I will get into how I'm making my money. I forgot my anti-poison because I'm bad at the game. Um, but this should be one, oh, almost one second. There we go. One dead, big, green, weird thing coming in here. What do we get? Rune swords. Okay, that's a pretty good drop. We'll take that for sure. All right, so I just finished clearing literally everything out of my bank. Um, I'm currently worth 1.9 mil. I'm going to alk all these rune arrows on agility courses and then do rune craft. And as promised, ladies and germs, we are back to the rune crafting content. Love that. Um, so as I said, I need to make, I don't know, seven, between seven and nine mil probably ideally to be able to afford uh, the couple of percentage boosting things that I need and then also some like really rudimentary gear and supplies to go with that to try to kill Callisto. Um, and the way that I'm going to do that, this is probably one of my best money makers right now that also gets me levels, which is nice. And I'm just going to be rune crafting double cosmic runes, which I unlocked a couple episodes ago. Um, so I think I started off this episode actually by doing a trip of, or an hour or so of cosmic runes and it is about 700k an hour. So I'm going to do this for, I don't know, 10, 12 hours and see what we get. Um, and also while we're doing that, teleport to Edgeville here, that should be coming in right now, 61 rune crafting. So that's where we're starting off. Our first hour of rune crafting done was a little slow, got distracted a couple times, so didn't max it out. 600k, not bad. We move. So, because I'm a little greedy, um, I'm not going to accept the 700k an hour, um, and I'm also going to be flipping in the background. This is a great flip. I bought those for 32, those 10 rune kite shields for 32k, spent 320k on them, and sold them for 45k each, made 450k. It was like the easiest 120k or 130k ever. Um, but yeah, so while I am rune crafting cosmic runes just to the left of here in edgeville i am going to be flipping stuff um so right now i've got a malediction shard 2 i believe that i'm trying to sell and i'll just keep putting my money in rotation and making it work for me hopefully i can earn about a mil an hour i'm on 1.7 mil right now plus uh, 1.3 mil there so what is that like four mil not bad two hours later 62 rune crafting coming in the xp is slow but the gp is sweet oh baby i am back I know for you, it's been one second. For me, it has been 24 hours. Literally, I che checked the timestamp on my last clip. It was 4.44 p.m. February 9th. It is now 4.30 p.m. on February 10th. Um, so 24 hours later, I did, you know, 10, 12 hours of rune crafting maybe the other day between these two clips. Um, just kind of got in the zone, you know? You ever feel that where you're just doing something repetitive and you just, like, I don't know, you just kind of zone out and do your thing. So... I'm going to clear these couple offers that I had in here and sell these couple of things that I've got left in my inventory, which I am 64 runecrafting, by the way, which should put me on 9.254 mil. Um, so that's going to be enough to afford both the crossbow and the black mask. We're going to buy the crossbow for 7.56 mil, exactly. And the black mask we're going to buy for uh, just under a mil. There's two, actually, the black mask and the black mask 10. I don't remember what the charges do, but I'm going to buy it because it, it can't make it worse, right? Um, so that is our gear that we're going to give a try. This might not work, by the way. The last 24 hours might have been a waste for me. Um, but we're going to try to kill Callisto with this gear. But first, as you can see, um, the crossbow has plus 75 range bonus. Without the black mask, but with it, it has a minus one range bonus. So I'm going to go imbue this at the Nightmare Zone to get rid of the negative bonuses. And it will also give... Um, right now the black mask gives a plus 15, I believe, accuracy and damage bonus, uh, for melee on Slayer task, but if I imbue it, I can get it for range and magic as well. So I'm going to go spend, I don't know, probably six hours in the nightmare zone 
um, to get the 1.25 mil points that I'm going to need to imbue this bad boy. I'm going to start off with um, some prayer gear, gear and prayer potions, and then uh, once I have a little bit of points saved up, I'm going to start doing the rock cake down to uh, absorption potion method. So, yeah. Been about one hour here in the Nightmare Zone, and we just got 60 attack. I skipped a couple attack levels, but that is a big important one because we can now use dragon equipment. So I had pre-bought this dragon skim, and DDS as my spec weapon. Um, I'm 70 combat. I'm going to work on strength now. I'm going to go to 70 strength. So we have 19 levels that we need to go, and that will get me into the Warrior's Guild. I don't want to go for 65, 65. That's bullshit. Um, so I'm going to go for 70 strength, and... Yeah, we'll check back in. When the levels are just flying in here, considering I'm pretty much AFKing this. But there is 55 strength, so we've gone up four strength levels already, and now we've only got 15 to go to 70. 60 strength, baby. The train just keeps on rolling. As you can see, we are almost at the 1.25 million points, but there's 65 strength. The levels keep just absolutely flying in. We're only five levels off 70 now. And that is all she wrote. What is that, about six hours of AFK in the Nightmare Zone or so? Um, completed. We're going to go imbue the, imbue the Black Mask right now. I think I'm going to keep it the Black Mask for two reasons. First of all, I don't have 55 crafting to make a Slayer Helm. Um, and second of all, I kind of like the Black Mask look. I remember back in the day when I first became a member, and I saw everybody running around with these catcher's masks, and I was like, what the fuck? That's so cool because I played baseball at the time. Um, and I was like, I want to wear a catcher's mask, but I could never figure out what it was because there's no uh, item in the game called the catcher's mask. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Worst story of all time, perhaps. But I'm just going to finish up pulling my money out here. And then this is what we just spent the, all those hours getting money and uh, imbuing or sitting in the nightmare zone for is to upgrade this bad boy. And that is it. Black mask 10i plus 15 uh, range and magic bonus on slayer tasks and it's time ladies and gentlemen we're gonna go try to fight the big bad bear let's see what we can do here we stand at the ge i've sold all my stuff i've bought my gear for callisto um a full black d high to glory my slayer mask eye my crossbow um and i went and played like two games of lms and got enough points for some blighted manta rays and a couple blighted super restores um so yeah, that is that. Out we head to the wilderness to take on Callisto, the big bad bear, and probably die because I've never killed this boss before. But it'd be cool if we can do him. I don't know that we're going to be able to. We'll see. Well, here goes nothing. As you can tell by my inventory, I've uh, messed this up a couple times already. But let's see if we can get it this time. Come on now. There he is. Come on. I think I fucked it up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Eat. Oh my. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead for sure. Oh, I'm, I'm dead for sure. <laughs> God damn it. Fuck! Damn it. I have to admit something. I rage deleted all my clips. I died like four times. I finally got to be able to set up the safe spot. And I just couldn't hit shit. It was just zero after zero after zero after zero. This is me post coming, by the way. So, that was me rage selling my crossbow. Because I was pissed. And I was raging. And, you know, sometimes your emotions get the best to you. And that's what happened to me. But we're going to go do some Slayer. I'm going to go kill regular bears for the time being. And I'm going to be sad. Okay, I finished my barracks task. It was really good for some closure. I've calmed down. I've simmered. Um, I'm feeling much better now. So let's go get us another task. Ooh, 420 Slayer points. Not bad. Um, I'm going to go get myself a, another task from Crystalia, and back into the wilderness we go. Next task is going to be spiders. I'm ready to be hurt again. <laughs> and by that, I mean, after I just sold off my, Rage sold off my crossbow, I'm going to go buy it back and kill Venonatus. I'm pretty sure I can kill Venonatus. I, I, it does not have anywhere near the defense that Callisto does, so I'm pretty sure with the Slayer bonus and the Wilderness bonus, I will be able to kill this boss. Thankfully, I'm a bit more uh, educated on how to kill Venonatus, so there we go, and I hit much more. That is the first kill. 200 Blood Rune, 79k. That's pretty good. Um, Venonatus has some good drops. If we're able to get like 
that's me up there, by the way. Before you say, Austin, you're about to get scouted, you fool. Um, that's me. I'm actually anti-scouting so that people running from over there, I will see before they get over here and I can uh, log out. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to keep killing this boss. I got 76 more to kill. I'm going to do them all here. We'll see if we can get a dragon pick. That'd be sick. Or perhaps, you know, a pet. Who knows? That's 50 Slayer, and it's also going to wrap up our first trip at the Big Spooter. Um, I'm not bringing much risk. Not like, per oh shit. Oh shit. Uh, ugh. All right, I got out. I don't think they could attack me. Yeah, that was, <laughs> dude, I totally deserved to die there. That was fucking terrible. <laughs> I totally panicked. Um, I'm not bringing much risk, though. I'm only bringing like two or three prayer potions a trip um, and only like 1,500 ether in my bow just because I have a bond that I need to um, buy in like two days' time. And I would ideally, I, my bank is worth one mil outside of the crossbow and the um, black mask. So ideally, I would like to not have to sell off the crossbow. That would be sick. Uh, so I'm bringing very little risk. Um, yeah, out we go again. There we go. Another kill. Oh, let's go. Dragon pickaxe, bro. Give me that. Let's get out of here. No way I'm dying with that shit. Oh, let's fucking go, dude. That pays for my bond. Oh, that's so hype. Hell yeah. Give me a cheer. Yeah, I'm excited. In your face, PK or money bags. You could have killed me. Trade me, bro. Let me show you my pickaxe. All right. Never mind. Um, holy shit. This was my bed and honest tab before. 372k. And now it is 4.4 mil. That is going to make sure that I don't have to sell off my crossbow um, to buy a bond, which is huge. So I can just keep it in the bank. That feels great. I'm so happy about that. Um, oh, my God. What a dude on nine kill count. Are you kidding me? That's sick. All right. Back at it we go. But that's going to do it for your boy in this episode of my free-to-play to Inferno series. I just really, before I end, want to say thank you guys so much. Every time I see someone new, like, comment or subscribe, it makes me happy inside. Um, so thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time. Peace.